what have we here? This is gonna suck big time. Terrific rhythm offensively. Holla at a brother. The sports offerings on the Xbox 360 last year were rather disappointing. Most were simple ports of Xbox games, sporting slightly updated graphics and generally lacking many of the features found on the current gen versions. Now with the beginning of the 2007 season, developers can show off everything they've learned in the past 12 months with some truly next-gen sports games. Or at least, that's how it should go. The play options in Live 07 are typical, if not impressive. All the mainstays are here. Single game, season mode, dynasty, and online play that's limited to a single match. It seems that tournament or league play with your Xbox Live friends is something NBA Live players will have to wait yet another year to enjoy. Looks like someone had a finger on the wrong button. Dynasty mode disappoints as well. While players will have to hire their staff and start up training camp, once the season itself gets underway, the whole thing feels incredibly limiting. The only real extra options you've got to fiddle with are the different ringtones you want to use for the various people who will be calling you between games. The other play option on hand is the All-Star Weekend, which is divided into the All-Star Game, a Rookie Game, Three Point Shootout, and Dunk Contest. It's a fun diversion if you have a couple of buddies present to play against. Too bad that, again, none of this stuff is playable over Xbox Live. Look off the clock! The ESPN integration is a really nice feature, allowing you to browse and read, watch, or listen to the latest news and clips directly from ESPN servers. I'm Doug Brown. Yankees pitcher Corey Lytle died today. Of course, to do so, you'll have to sit in the game's main menu. No. It would have been great to be able to listen to the various audio clips during a game. Still, the ESPN integration is a fantastic feature that brings a lot to the title. You try your hardest to treat it like any other game. Marv, that's been the story of the night, and this has just been ridiculous this evening, and so was that comment. Out on the court, things begin to fall even further apart. Thrilled the players transitioning from one incredibly slow animation to another with jarring results. Limbs snap into place with painful frequency. The ball warps from hand to hand as the carrier goes from a dribble to a layup, or any other move for that matter. I mean, that's pretty weak. The game is absolutely riddled with bugs and brings new meaning to the term half bait. At least you'll have plenty of time to observe all the issues. For such a fast paced sport, NBA Live 07 moves like Charles Barkley in a vat of hot fudge topping, especially when passing the ball around. To Hughes. In fact, the players never really speed up until you press one of the shot buttons. Then the canned animation begins and everything returns to real time for a precious few seconds as you wait to see whether the ball goes through the hoop, or more likely, takes a weird bounce and changes possession. And he's rejected! That's nothing compared to the online game, though. NBA Live 07 is one of the worst games you'll ever play, simply because a good connection is an impossibility. Laggy games lead to players warping all over the court and kill what little fluidity Live had to begin with. In other words, it's an offensive free-for-all, since playing D with characters that snap from one side of the court to the other instantaneously is next to impossible. I'm sure the fans are having problems with it. I'm speechless. NBA Live 07 is a broken game. Every time you play it, you'll find something else that's not right. While the various play options and ESPN integration makes for a great front end, the slow-mo gameplay, horrid animation, and awful online execution means that the competition, NBA 2K7, is the only game in town for virtual ballers this season. Come on! This is gonna suck big time. <laughs> no surprise here, Greg. And there it is, Greg. The lowest score. Oh, that's mediocre at best.